Hello all, welcome to Sand Compounding. Today I'm going to bring up a topic which is a buzzword today, which is 5G. It's nothing but the fifth generation internet with a lot of fibers. It's a revolutionizing concept for the next decade, especially with digital exploding uh, across the globe. And most of the brick and mortar shops have closed, banks have closed. It's all because of the digital innovations and 5G will galvanize that even more. 5G is going to enable many new businesses in the next decade. Some of those kinds like internet of things uh, that is connected devices uh, it's going to be much faster autonomous vehicles and self-driving concepts because 5g will enable the connected devices even communicate faster uh, 5g is supposed to have 100 times faster uh, connectivity in internet and uh, it is going to have very low latency and so most of the uh, communication is going to be real time in 5g uh, revolution and many new businesses can come like you know especially in the artificial intelligence autonomous cars industrial uh, IOT or Internet of Things and uh, this is expected to come in the next one year or two years and uh, let's see uh, understand what in detail what 5g means because there could be many investing ideas it can influence our in investing because many businesses can get disrupted many new businesses can come in and it can give rise to many new uh, investing ideas let's analyze and understand more in detail so 5G is the digital cellular network in which the service areas provided by the carriers like LTE, at and T-Mobile are broken down into small geographical areas called cells. Now this will be big evolutionary shift from the existing LTE or 4G networks. So basically they are more powerful high bandwidth optical fibers and wireless uh, backhaul connections. So the same concepts used to achieve 5G, uh, you know, which are uh, like, you know, carrier aggregation, small cells making spectrums to involve more users, optimizing network efficiencies, millimeter waves that are shorter ranges than existing microwaves, multiple antennas to work together as phased arrays to carry, create beams of millimeter waves to reach the device. Now, these uh, formidable network performance goals are heavily predicated on the availability of fiber and lots to it uh, to the cell size. Now they, we, this might uh, here you know seem to be a little technically complex to understand but overall the gist of it is that the benefits outweigh a lot you know they are going to have a maximum speed of 20 gigabytes per second at least 100 times faster than the current network speeds new paradigm of internet speed leading to large capabilities for data transmission around 10 dbps and a density of 1 million nodes per kilometer square these are significantly high numbers multiple multitude of times of uh, the existing internet connectivity and latency now network connection latency shrinks from 50 milliseconds to just 1 millisecond that's a whopping reduction right i mean the latency will literally not exist and that's why you know the connectivity uh, will be having no delay so the 5g technology will allow a delay of time reduction in communications an increase in information transfer rate so the data transfer happens almost real time a significant improvement in mobile coverage and will allow millions of devices to be connected simultaneously and uh, <clears throat> higher capacity allowing mobile phone carriers to create multiple virtual networks within one physical 5G network and this concept is called network slicing and uh, this is a very strong powerful concept that is uh, only present going to be present in 5G uh, physical networks real time data transmission as we spoke with no latency communication between devices networks enable all transactions real time and live with no latency that's an important point to note now here are some of the pictorial representation of 5G, how the networks would, devices would connect to each other and uh, 5G connection will be an important part to create the ecosystem of the future businesses for next 20 years to 30 years from what we can see. 5G will change the way communi we communicate, uh, cities we live in, there will be smart cities and the food delivery we do will be real-time delivery and real-time tracking mechanisms and the way we do retail shopping and those are some of the aspects. Now the the whole ecosystem is going to go through a paradigm shift uh, due to wireless, mobile and real-time connectivity for transmission. The cost is high but uh, you know 5G will be the catalyst for change and growth in a variety of ind industries and uh, some of the key business emerging I can see or the key business that can change its uh, paradigm I can see are you know the advent of smart cities which we are already seeing that's coming up 
connected devices and smart homes offices um, you know office spaces through live video streaming there won't be physical office space and it will be more virtual through a live video streaming with uh, you know more faster internet connectivity uh, connected devices are going to be a prominent uh, business in future smart devices and even industrial connected devices are going to be big connected devices and autonomous vehicles uh, including cars and trucks so between the vehicles uh, the autonomous um, vehicles you know self driving mechanism is going to be more prevalent and uh, the cars and trucks can communicate uh, between the devices real, real time can transmit data real time the proximity and the sensor uh, can act uh, real time and uh, autonomous can pave way to the future then the other industry i can think of is uh, uh, food delivery you know robo led uh, artificial intelligence led autonomous cars drones doing the delivery like food and postal so cars doing the food deliveries without autonomous cars doing the food delivery is going to be a big trend and uh, even postal networks for that matter delivering posts and um, drones delivering uh, posts these are some of the things we are already seeing being tested by some of the leading players like amazon dominos etc smart retailing like amazon go alibaba fresh shipo stores uh, where there are no human shopkeepers these are smart retailing stores where they are recognized the customers recognized by face id and uh, biometrics and they enter in they do the shopping they pick it up the sensors uh, understand which uh, uh, you know merchandise was picked and the uh, and the uh, payment happens uh, with just the qv uh, qr code on the mobile so these are the trends that we are already seeing which are catching up and they could even become more uh, technologically advanced then smart checkouts at airports railway stations the you know those are some of the new trends that we can see coming up and uh, then mobile commerce replacing <coughs> millions of physical retail this is pretty much pervasive but you know that could even become more prominent uh, uh, you know across all global geographies significant growth of fintechs and digital banks replacing even physical bank now digital banking is going to be a big trend that's coming up and uh, physical banks might not uh, be required in future uh, for majority of the consumer services financial services like wealth management driven completely by robo algorithms we are already seeing this happening it disrupted the complete uh, wealth management and investment management uh, arena and mobile based universities and education replacing physical college and conventional degrees so this is another trend that we are seeing especially with social media being so prominent uh, mobile based universities and education are going to take over and uh, there are no longer going to be value for certain degrees and um, certain college level um, certifications and uh, you know the physical education is going to be slowly evading out in future wireless healthcare uh, remote surgical procedures this is something in the healthcare we can see and uh, we already know many uh, non intrusive surgical procedures being happening robo led uh, on the spot um, treat medical treatments being happening so this is going to be even more advanced then um, there is live gaming streaming so gaming is already very uh, fast catching across all the geographies and live gaming streaming is going to be and broadcasting would be even more interesting to see how they span out um, using video streaming and virtual reality then the mobile media and live streaming replacing tv based subscription we pretty much know subscription based um, you know things like networks disney are all replacing the you know the uh, real uh, channels and the cable communications those are getting replaced almost um, the cable have become non existing but then uh, mobile uh, media and live streaming would replace even the netflix and the disney type businesses uh, the subscription based businesses and on the top uh, media would uh, eventually fade out as we can see and finally corporates maintaining uh, serverless applications everything on cloud with no physical hardware uh, serverless computing is going to be uh, very powerful quantum computing uh, also is going to be another factor that uh, that will uh, play its part and there won't be any physical hardware deployments and maintenance of applications by businesses that would be required so that's more on the technology and it side so overall we can see how a lot of new disruptive businesses are 
fast appearing and replacing the existing and disrupting the existing businesses which have been running since centuries so this is how technology can really uh, do the paradigm shift in the business world and this can have significant impact in the way we do investments we think some investments might be long term even the concept i spoke about in 2030 uh, you know 20 business for 2030 many of them can fade out because we we can really not anticipate exactly how the future will span out and how technology will disrupt many of those existing businesses so it's an interesting space to watch uh, there will be many new such businesses that will come up i uh, hope this was useful to understand the impact of 5g and the network and technology disruptions in the investing world thank you